Hey guys, it's Cliff, Trail Grid Pro. Glad to be back with you. So already we've got a Tacoma Alpine installation video. We've got a secondary Tacoma Alpine settings overview, just some additional settings that you wanna take into consideration when installing your Alpine bundle. And now we've got a couple accessories that we recommend you highly consider right out of the gate when you purchase your Tacoma Alpine bundle from Trail Grid Pro. The first being a custom Alpine screen protector for your F509 or F511 Halo bundle. Now, this screen protector is made by Alpine. It's literally cut to specifically match the exact dimensions of either the nine inch or the 11 inch Alpine display. It's fantastic. What is the purpose of this screen protector? One, protects the screen, obviously. But what I find the most awesome fact about this screen protector is that it reduces or basically eliminates all smudges. So I have no smudges on my screen after I use it for like a month, which keeps it looking tidy and clean, which is what I'm all about. And lastly, it has a special anti-reflective coating, which helps prevent light from being reflected toward you. Okay, the next accessory to highly consider is Alpine's volume and base knob. So this is a knob that Bluetooths with the head unit so that you have an actual knob to control volume and base if you have an aftermarket sub in your vehicle. To control volume, all you do is turn the dial. If you want to control the base level, all you do is push it in and twist it and that'll control the base volume. What we're gonna do first is we're gonna get started with the anti-reflective screen protector installation and then we'll get back to the volume and base knob. Okay, have the screen protector kit back up here now. Once you take the plastic off the screen protector, it actually opens up uh, to a nice little display here where right here we've got the screen protector and we've got a tool to clean the screen right here as well as what they call a sticking spatula, which is what you can use to help install the screen protector on your F509 or F511. Now, one thing that you wanna consider is that as soon as you install your Alpine F509 or F511, there will be a factory protector on it, just a layer of plastic. Now, you wanna put this screen protector on the minute that you remove that. It's just at its cleanest state. It hasn't been used. There's no dust or anything, so just make sure you do it right then. However, if you bought the screen protector after you purchased your bundle, that's okay. I'm going to show you the process right now just to get it nice and clean and tidy before putting on your screen protector on your Halo Alpine bundle from Trail Grid Pro. All right, guys, so step one, go ahead and grab your microfiber towel that is provided by Alpine in the screen protector kit and just give your screen a nice wipe down. Make sure you get any smudges, anything that's on there off because guess what? Once you put the screen protector on, it's gonna stay. So take your time, just get it nice and clean. Okay, next, as per the Alpine screen protector installation instructions, there's a dust removal tool. It's simply a white label-like sticker that you're gonna wanna go ahead and fold it in half like this because what we're gonna do is we're gonna dab it on the screen to remove any excess dust that might be on the screen and you're just dabbing. Just make sure you cover all the surface area so that there's no dust left. All right guys, so now we're ready to install the screen protector. Now, what I spoke about before is this is an exact cutout of the Alpine nine inch halo. Now the 11 inch will obviously be an exact cutout of the 11 inch, but we're doing this on the nine inch today. So the way you wanna do this is you can see that you know, the, the actual screen protector is the blue part and there is a layer on the back that we're gonna be peeling off as we install this. So what you wanna do is you wanna take the top layer here and peel it down about an inch, okay? You see that right there? Now, you wanna line up the screen protector so it's perfectly in the corner on both sides. Okay, so now that you have your corner set Go ahead and kind of put a finger right in the corner and then pull the under layer right from the center down. All right, so at this point, we wanna run our finger down the center. And of course, the point here is we're trying to level everything out. 
So we're pushing our bubbles to the outside, getting it all lined up here. Again, this is not a sprint. It's a bit of a marathon. Just do it slowly and it'll all work out. So the reason we're using our fingers during this step to level out any bubbles, any large bubbles, is because we don't want to crease the film. So once we've got the large bubbles out, then we're going to move to the sticking spatula that Alpine provides. And do not take off this top layer until you've finished with the sticking spatula. All right, so when you're ready with the sticking spatula, I would wrap it in the microfiber. We're just going to be working out any remaining air bubbles. Now remember, if you start to mark up this outside layer, don't worry, it is an outside layer. Okay, once you've gotten to the point where you feel there are no more air bubbles, what we're going to do is, it's, this tab right here is how we're going to start removing this outer blue layer. Okay, so let's fold it over on itself like that and start to pull straight back. So we're not pulling it away from the screen protector. Okay, so now that the outside layer of the screen protector is removed, displaying the actual screen protector, if there are any existing bubbles or anything like that, just go ahead and turn your microfiber over to a new section of the microfiber, wrap it around your sticking spatula, and let's just gently get those out. Okay, so that's it. Now your screen protector is installed. It looks great. Now, I've had some experience with screen protectors in the past where once they're installed, they tend to change the quality of the screen that it's on. This one is perfect. It doesn't change the quality of the Alpine super sweet display. It's simply that. It's a screen protector. It helps with anti-reflective. It helps with smudges. It's great. All right, so next up is the Alpine volume and base knob. Let's go ahead and open this box and see what's in there. Okay. So we've got a couple things. Right here is the actual knob. So let's go ahead and take that out. So it's nice and wrapped here. And there you go. A super sweet knob. It's beautiful, has an awesome finish. It's Bluetooth, as you can see here, has turn and push. So again, if you want volume, you just turn it. If you want to control an aftermarket sub, the base volume, you simply just push it in a little bit and then turn. The next item in the box is actually a mount. All right, and with this mount, if you choose to use it, this mount actually attaches to the side of the halo display. And we'll show you a picture right now of what that would look like. Again, it just attaches to the left side of the display and you can place the volume knob on there. But what we've chosen to do most of the time is find another place in the Tacoma, use double-sided tape, and just attach it there. Before we get there, what we're gonna wanna do is in the bag that the mount was in is a battery. So let's go ahead and get the battery out. Okay, so on the back of the volume and base knob is a little door right here, which we're gonna wanna open. Okay, and that's going to display the area for the battery that is in the kit. So let's go ahead and put that into place. Okay, so our battery's in there. Now you can see the light activating right there. It means we got some power. So let's go ahead and start the vehicle because what we're gonna do is show you how easy it is to pair this. Just put it in accessory power. All right, once you've got your Alpine bundle started up, go ahead and hit setup. Go to device list and we're gonna add a device. It's searching right now, look at that, super quick. Finds the Alpine knob. Yep, we wanna to connect to the knob, connecting to the device. Let's give it a whirl. Oh, look at that. Controls the volume just like that. And if we wanna do bass, push it in, sub level, right there. It's that easy. So guys, the volume and bass knob, it's really that easy to install, if you can even call that an installation. It's really a pairing. Now, while of course Alpine provides the bracket that you can attach to the side of the head unit, the Tacomas here have a pretty cool little area right here where you could attach this knob with, again, just a simple double-sided Velcro and place it right here, which is super easy to reach with your right hand while you're driving. So that's a cool spot that you could put this right next to the hazard button, super clean and a great place to keep it.
All right, guys, thanks for watching today. Just a couple accessories to highly consider when purchasing your Trail Grid Pro Alpine bundle. These will be available in the Trail Grid Pro shop at www.trailgridpro.com. And as always, guys, have a blast out there.